Hey there everybody, it's Inuyasha86000 and I'm also accompanied by my buddy who's also an op, Federale. Say hi Michael. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Now, you're all probably wondering what the hell it is we're st that I'm staring at at least. This is a mushroom house. No, you're not tripping on mushrooms, you're not thinking back to the days of N64 of N or even NES we have actually successfully built a mushroom house hi Michael bye Michael <laughs> so as you can see it's a double tier but it's only a single floor which actually works nice for the lighting which we'll see pretty soon Michael himself, he was the one that came up with the general idea on how to build it. Michael, take it away. Simple, just growing mushrooms and hollowing them out and then growing other mushrooms on top in sequence to create the complete mushroom wall. Do you want to do a quick demonstration over in our little test area? Um, sure. You'll see we have two sets of pod sol already made are already made and what we do is we place our lovely little red mushroom in there uh, not a red glass pane red mushroom I know I know I'm getting there and if I could stay out of the water that'd be great so as you can see we've got the main mushroom part built We take out the center and the center block. That is very important. And then we use pod saw up to a level of approximately three blocks from the hole you've made in your top of your mushroom. Now this could take a couple of tries. As you can see, this one kind of it kind of worked, but it kind of failed at the same time because it's one above. But it all depends on your architecture type. You, what we had to do with a couple of the towers over there was we had to t literally destroy the top mushroom and redo it. Other than that, it usually works out pretty nice. Oh, we'll see one more time. We'll see if we can get it to go. Give it one more. Try it with two. There we go. Bingo. Now, to the untrained eye, it kind of looks like a double sized mushroom. But in reality, all that's happened is the stem grew up from the pod saw. Well, pretty much we made our own jumbo mushroom. Now as you can tell, the way that we've done the base is actually with a stone brick. And this is my idea here, the little pools in between. Because I figure, you know what, it's a mushroom house, it needs to stay moist. Uh, Michael, you're the one that decided on the fencing here, the nether brick fencing. And the torches yep. in the corners, so I give you props for that. And he also actually came up with the idea of instead of uh, glass pane, we use the solid glass in here. So that works out really nice. Um, as you can see, very nice curvatures and all that, the way the mushrooms build. And we also decided to circulate around the whole entire place with uh, stone brick as well. Uh, this was actually just a recent addition. Uh, these um, trap doors. Uh, I figured if you wanted to have them up, that's cool. Or you could always have them down. It's almost like a royalty walk path. Kind of nice decorations in the side. And we also grew this giant mushroom here. And uh, Michael, you like the putting the fencing around there. Maybe eventually we'll make a functional patio, but uh, that, that'll be in the future. And as you can see, the corners here are still exposed to let the rain water in, which I thought was a real nice touch. Uh, the red uh, 
yeah, red glass going around the edges there. The hanging light with the trapdoor covers. I love being able to do that. Just, just another note on the on the side of the mushrooms. You got to remember too when you're building these sorts of things to be extremely careful in placing blocks because it's not like any other building where you can have a second go at it. If you mess it up, you're going to have to re-engineer and restart all over again. Exactly. Like with us, we were lucky enough. We took very big careful in making where the windows were and everything and not putting too much at risk. Now, this is also another reason why you can see my crosshair here, because I do not want to screw this up. <laughs> okay, here it is in the main room. We've got the hanging light, which looks gorgeous. Uh, we've got an anvil and two ovens. And, obviously, red mushroom in the jar. And we go over to the left room here. Crafting table in the corner. Another pot. Wasn't a jar, I'm sorry. Mushroom. As well as two full-size chests. This one part in particular I like. Because of the mushroom being side by side, and making a real nice solid corridor, the door actually goes sorry it's like two in the morning here um, the door actually fits in between perfectly which looks really nice now we've got a bed in the rooms single chest creeper I'm sorry Michael <laughs> <laughs> spy on me there look at that Ugh. anyways um, pot with a mushroom and a crafting table in the bedrooms and obviously beds so you can jump yeah jump around okay anyways the other side is exactly the same exactly the same just oppositely done and I think it does not look too cluttered looks real nice we've got red wool as the carpet because I like that they've added carpet per se, but if you want to actually be able to put stuff on top of it, I prefer wool. I, at least that's my opinion. What do you think, Michael? No, I totally agree, because considering with carpet, you can't build on top of it, so you're you know, separating certain blocks and trying to plan on what you're going to place there, and it just makes it a lot easier just being able to build one floor and be able to build on top of it. Exactly. Like At least for a first floor, you don't have to worry about yeah. it. Not only that, but if you look at how it matches up with other blocks, it's perfect. Whereas if you use carpet, you're going to have an indent. It's not going to look right. Exactly. Well, I'd say that's about it for our mushroom house. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if they've seen the rest of the map, but you could give them a quick rundown of everything else. And, uh, you know, if they're interested in joining the service, how they can do it. Yeah, well, this is... Uh this is going to be protected, so if uh, anybody goes to mess with it, uh, like turn a, or open a door or anything, it's, it's nothing against you guys. We've actually had a griefer on the server already. I'm not going to name names because they've already been banned and it's already been posted. So, But um, yeah, we've got other videos with other builds. Uh, this is our most recent build, so... Yeah, feel free to set up an application with us. Uh, link to the forum topics in the description. Um, yeah. Yeah, if Just, you want a no bullshit server where you can come and actually enjoy the game and not have to worry about griefers and all that nonsense, uh, it's definitely a good place to be. And just so everybody knows, we normally don't swear over text. So it's mm. all good for the kids, too. Yeah. All right, well, this is uh, Inuyash86000 and... The Fed. Signing off. Hope you all enjoyed the video and look forward to more every so often. See you later.